Welcome, welcome. Hi, Willie. How you doing, Xavier? Yeah, I'm good. Nice good. to hear that. Nice to hear that. Today is cold already. Today, yeah. You know what I wonder? I wonder if it's gonna stay cold for the remainder of December. Mm. Because I don't know, I think that that would be nice. Yeah. Right? Let me go ahead. Let's see who else. We'll wait for the rest of the class. I hope they, they, they start coming in. Welcome, welcome, Alex. Today is going to be week four, day three. Nice seeing you. Welcome, Alex. Welcome. Hello, good evening. Bienvenido. Good evening. Good evening. Thank you. Let me get everything ready for you guys. Hello, hello, Angel. Angel Martinez, welcome. Mariana, welcome. Mike, welcome. Hi, teacher. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Bienvenidos. Welcome to class. How's the weather where you guys are at? Is it cold? It's nice, still a little nice. chilly. All right. Buenas, buenas. Hola, Gretel. Bienvenida. Kenya. Hola, Welcome. Welcome to class. I tried to go see the flag. I don't know if you guys have seen that on the news. About the flag and el redondel mas ferrer. Uh, redondel se dice roundabout. Sorry about that. At the roundabout mas ferrer. Did you guys hear about that? It was a very big flag. Very big. Right. <laughs> and you know, but the winds were just too strong and then it, it just completely ripped it apart. And so right. I saw a lot of it on Facebook, on Twitter, and todos lados estaba. And I said, you know what, I wanna go look at it. But I got there and they had taken it down. So they took the flag down. Hopefully they put another one. You know? I wanna see that. That's nice. Big flag. All right, all right, let's get let's get this party cooking. Let me go ahead and share my screen. Here we go, guys. Let me go ahead and fix this one here a little bit. Okay. All right. How are you guys doing? in regards to the modules. La plataforma de trabajo, the platform. Oh my goodness, I have a few missing. Oh. Okay. Here we go. Lesson 5.0. Who 
completed the lesson, or I'm sorry, who completed the section five and went on to final exams already? Who has done that? Who has completed Me. that? All right. Me who too has too. completed the final exam already? Final exam completion? All right, who is about yes. to finish the final exam? I got the certificate. <laughs> you got the, oh, the, oh. <laughs> well done, well done, well done, Alex. Well done, well done, Alex. <laughs> All right. Okay, so when it comes to section five, as you guys can see, lesson objectives, we had some videos. Uh, we were in the gerunds, so what I am going to try to do is for tomorrow, cover the T and the clauses with because, because everything else in the middle is pretty much uh, videos and lessons. For, for example, like the vocabulary, and these are the personality traits. So uh, we're gonna focus on our last day. We're gonna focus on the pronunciation with a T and the D, and also with the clauses with because. So th that's that's really short, and I think we can finish it. I am very confident that we're gonna finish it tomorrow. All right, so for today, what I wanted to do uh, was I wanted to go over the platform, see how you guys were doing. Uh, remember, please remember that they're asking for the new enrollments or the information for the new enrollments. So um, keep your mind on that or keep an eye on your WhatsApp to see if they ask you for anything like that or your emails. Um, also on the platform, you can go into the progress section and it will tell you specifically which ones you have finished and which ones you are still missing to complete. Oh, I have a lot of work. I'm at 57. I have to try to get to at least that 80%. As you guys can see, we're asking 80% in order for you to get that 80, that passing grade. So 81 will do, we'll accept that. All right, try to get that. Right, let me go back over here to the courses. All right, and so I wanted to reinforce the conversation and pronunciations. So I have a activity for you guys. And this is what we call small talk or chit chat, or it can also be referred to as building rapport, they call it. Let me go ahead and put that, uh, building rapport. And let's see, building rapport, uh, chit chat, or oh, small talk. All right, I like to use personal conversation, you know, personal experiences, I think. Um, so when you guys, do you, you guys remember going out on a date? Like when we could go out on dates? Do you guys remember that? Okay. Did you yes. ever, did you ever find yourself at, at a restaurant or at a bar and you ran out of things to talk about? It's like, okay, so now what happens, right? You stay quiet. So now that silence is really uncomfortable for, for everybody, right? Nobody wants to do that. You always want to have like that little conversation going. So what's the best way then to ask, you know, personal questions, but, but not, not too personal, relax, relax, not too personal, you know, stuff about maybe what type of food, what type of hobbies, any type of animals that you might like, what do you do on your birthday? Seasons, you can talk about that. You can talk about schools and holidays and music, right? So the idea behind this is for you to be able to ask a question and then also answer it. And it doesn't matter if somebody te corta o es muy cortante, right? It's okay. What we are going to do is we're gonna ask questions that can either be answered with a single yes or no, or with a single answer, like, you know, what color is your shirt? And you say it's black and then that's it. It's, you know, conversation is dead. It doesn't go anywhere else. Or 
we can ask questions that require a little bit more thinking and therefore it gives us a little bit more information okay so the way i wanted to carry out this exercise was just simple practice between us kind of like what we did with the role play except here in order for you to answer the questions you have to come up with your own answers and your own personal taste right and then so look at what the questions or look at the questions that are going to be asked and then think about how you're going to answer them and vice versa think about how we are going to ask these questions and try to practice with doing that how does it sound how can i ask that question and not sound rude because that's also another thing that you know sometimes it happens all right so uh there's a few of these and there's a few of us so what i wanted to do is i wanted to just you know get started from the very beginning and see how many of these we can finish and then i have an activity for you guys for the gerunds on the life worksheets which is also very very easy right okay um we can practice and we can go first i i i would like to you know i would like to show you guys how we can do it and i would need one volunteer who 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 can volunteer with me who would like to volunteer as the first come with the first victim okay i could try alex all right all right i like that let's try it out alex so would you like to well no since we're you know i want you guys to listen to how the exercise goes um i will ask the questions first and then alex we're going to switch it and then you're going to ask me the questions all right all right okay are right, you ready alex all right okay here we go everybody what is your favorite dish oh uh chicken with mushroom chicken with mushroom all oh, right yeah that that sounds good why do you like it uh because it's delicious because it's delicious yeah well that's that's a good answer right when do you eat it uh i ate for my birthday my birthday celebration all right good and how often do you cook it i do like once a month once a month okay all right all right we're switching over to hobbies or your hobby all right all right alex what are your hobbies play soccer why do you like i'm sorry i'm sorry about that sorry alex let's do that over let's do that over what are your hobbies uh, my hobbies are playing soccer and watching some uh, tv series and uh, reading uh, english books nice why do you like them um because i like to exercise my body and um learn learn more about english all right when did you start them I, i'm i'm sorry yeah Say when again? did you Yeah, when did you start doing these hobbies? Uh, since I was a child. Okay. All right. Cool. Okay. You notice how it's personal information but it's not too personal. It's not uncomfortable personal information. It's just, you know, it's just normal stuff that we would like to know. Now, All right. When you ask people these types of questions, what do you guys think you can get out of them? ¿Qué beneficio le ven ustedes a este tipo de preguntas? What benefits? 
I think maybe they are question to start a conversation. Okay, all right, okay. And, and remember, this is when it gets uncomfortable, you know, that uncomfortable silence. Entonces, okay. you, you quickly come, come back out and say, hey, you know, I wanted to ask you about hobbies. So what are your hobbies? You know, and then the person will say, I don't have any hobbies, right? Which, which, which is still okay because you can switch over to something else. And, and so we're going to talk about some of that. And the more of these questions you guys ask, the more you guys can use to relate with that person. Uh, for example, if we're talking about food, I like chicken. Alex, you like chicken. We have something in common. You see that? Yeah. I play soccer. You play soccer. Hey, you know, we have something in common. So remember, always, even though it might seem like it's unimportant, it, it is actually essential to building a relationship. You know, really small talk, you know, this little chit chat. And we're using it to create that relationship, which is the report. That's what it's called. Building a relationship or building report. All right. All right. Good, Alex. Let, let's switch it around. And then now you ask me these questions. Let's start off with the food. All right. What is your favorite dish? Oh, my goodness. Pupusas. Pupusas. I love pupusas. Why do you like it? Because I'm from El Salvador, you know? All right. When do you eat it? Every day. <laughs> How often do you cook it? Oh no, I always go and buy them. I don't I don't cook pupusas. All right. So what about your hobbies? What are your hobbies? Uh, I have you have do you know the the flower, the orchids? The orchid, I think that, yeah, they're, they're flowers. They're or, uh, las orchidias, orchids. All right. Well, I collect orchids. Okay. So you, you, you do like, oh, okay, okay. Why what, what do you like them? Well, you know, I like them because they are, um, they have, I want to say that they are low maintenance. I don't have to put water in them. I don't have to, you know, I don't know. I don't have to take care of them as much. You know, I buy them, I put them there, and then, you know, within, I say, three, six, nine months, the flowers come out, and the flowers are very beautiful. So low maintenance, and the mm -hmm. flower is very nice. You just put on sound? No, okay. no, not, not these ones. These ones I put under, I don't know if I told you guys that I have a, a guayaba tree, a guava tree. No. Well, yeah, I put, I put them under the guayaba tree. Oh, really? Yeah. yeah. Okay. When, when did you start it? Oh, I am going to say nine years ago. Okay. Easy, right? Yeah. All right. So now. So think of it like that. Think of it like that, right? Oh, my goodness, I'm running out of stuff to say. What can I ask? Well, you can ask about a lot of stuff. You can ask about food. You can ask about hobbies. Now, some things I wouldn't recommend that you guys use. Um, try not to use uh, politics, for example. Uh, not too many people like to talk about politics. <laughs> or se sienten bien. Puede crear un poco de tensión. Uh, religiones unless right unless you guys are or have met in a religion then i wouldn't recommend for you guys to talk about religion because once again um yo soy católico yo soy testigo de jehová and now we have you know different different ways of thinking so so politics religion um also um let me see what else is, is another one that you that you have to be very careful with, uh, you know, sexual orientation is another one, right? Um, try not to get too much into those types of topics. So those are the three that I would say, try to stay away from them uh, as much as you can. But everything else you guys can, you guys are welcome to use. Uh, for example, we have the, we have the next one, right? 
animals and birthday who who does not like to talk about animals or birthdays you know all right so the mm -hmm. exercise that we just did with alex you guys see that you ask the questions and then you do the quick answer or you can answer in any which way that you want anybody else would like to volunteer and try it out voluntarios no no todo de una sola vez not everybody, not everybody. Aquí les voy a poner. One at a time. You went to sleep? Yeah, I think so. I think everybody, everybody. Who would like to volunteer? Who wants to practice one of these? Or else me and Alex are going to keep going all night. Oh my God. All right, we talk about animals. Right, let's talk about animals. All right, let, yeah. let's go with animals if, if nobody wants to volunteer. All right, let's do it, Alex. Let's do it. All right, um, let me go ahead and ask you first, and then we, we switch. No. Oh, okay, no, no, no. You ask the questions, and then I'll answer. Okay. Let's try that. All right. Okay, what is, what is your favorite animal? I like... Um, I'm going to say I like dogs. Why do you like them? You know, uh, because they're so loyal. Uh, where does it live? Um, here, uh, here in my house. What does it eat and drink? Um, dog food and water. Right. I, I try to keep it that way, right? Try to make it work that Fish. way. Okay. When, when is your birthday? Uh, June 6th. How do you celebrate it? Oh, very small dinner, uh, you know. Okay. What presents do you like? Oh, I don't like presents anymore. How many friends do you usually invite? No friends, only family. Oh, right, right. right. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Ah, el tío, este teacher es un gran recluso. ¿Cómo es? ¿Cómo se dice? Recluse. No le gusta salir. Un ermitaño. Well, you, know you have friends? Well, yeah, but you know, I, I, we used to, we used to throw like a little bit, uh, a couple of years back, we used to go out and, and go to a clubs or in restaurants and throw a big party, right. man. And so, you know, with time, that kind of changed. And now it's just kind of like, just like family. And, and, and y lo de COVID-19, déjame decirte que, right. que también ha ayudado con eso. Um, <laughs> lo, que, lo que he notado es que dura más el pisto. <laughs> right? Right. right? All right, yeah. all right. My turn. You ready, Alex? All right. All right. What is your favorite animal? Uh, favorite uh, it's a cat. Cat, okay. Why do you like it? Because they are uh, very... They are lazy. Yeah. All right. <laughs> where, where does it live? In my house. All right. What does it eat and drink? They eat... Uh, Oh, the mouse and, <laughs> and water. <laughs> and water, that's it. Huh? All right. All right, good. But they eat cat food, right? They eat, yeah, cat, the food. cat food is. All right. All right, let's talk about birthdays. Okay. All right, when is your birthday? Well, it's on November 12th. All right. How do you celebrate it? I celebrate with some friends and my family. Okay. What presents do you like? Do you like? Mm, not really. Just a cake. Just a cake? Yeah, a good All cake. Right. Good. It has, yeah, and there's a lot of places now, right? Yeah. How many friends do you usually invite? I invite like two or three friends and okay. my family. All right, That's good. It. Good, good, good for you. All right, so that's it, right? Animals, you like cats, I like dogs. Uh, my birthday on June, your birthday in November. You know, 
sometimes those things also will match, right? We, we're both from June. Oh, my God, we both celebrate June. Okay. okay. Or we both like animals, the same animal. Um, it can also be that, you know, you, you celebrate your birthday a different way or the same way. It could also be, you know, one of those. All right. And then, so that, that's how it goes. All right. Yeah. Would anybody else like to practice? And it could be, it doesn't have to be this one. It could be something else. Meaning tengo, let's see, tengo holidays and music. I have season and school. I have animals and birthday, which is what we did. And I have food and hobbies. Any volunteers? Me, teacher. Gretel, excelente. Gretel, okay. All right. Um, let's go. Let, let's try it, you and I, and sure. see how that goes. Which one would you like to do? Mm. Look, look, look at the ones that I have. I have holidays and music. I have season and schools, animals and birthday, and I have food and hobby. Um, holidays? Holidays. All right, let's do holidays. Yeah. Okay. Let me ask the questions first, and then you can ask them right back, okay? Okay. Okay, you ready? Yeah. Okay. What is your favorite holiday? My favorite holiday? Um, Christmas Day. Okay. And why do you like it? Because uh, I can feel a different atmosphere with people in, I don't know, in everywhere. Okay, okay. What do you eat and drink on this day? Um, we usually drink champagne and a big, I don't know how, here in Salvador, we use this word, chompipoya. Chompipoyo, the really big chicken. <laughs> the really yeah. big chicken. All right, Chompipoyo. Where do you spend Christmas? Ah, oh, here in my home with my family. Okay, good. All right, thanks. Let's go ahead and go into music. Sure. What is your favorite music? My favorite music, well, I think um, I am a... Uh, I have an open mind, so I can listen every kind of music. Oh, okay. And is there one that you like more than the others? Yeah, maybe. Uh, I really like a singer, Tori Kelly. I like her music. Is that like pop? Yeah, it's, it's a mix of pop with hip hop. Okay, okay. And so why do you like her music? Um, because I feel identif no sé cómo es, identificada. Sí, I, I, I can identify with it. You can say it like that. Yeah, because I I can identify with her. In okay. Her All right. And when do you listen to her music? Oh, every day. <laughs> if I can do it all the time. <laughs> Okay, all right. And so then the last question is, who's your favorite singer? And I think you already brought that up. You already mentioned. I, yeah, Tori Kelly. Okay, all right, all right, we got it. All right, Gretel, thank you very much. Okay, ahora, démosle vuelta. Vuelta la tortilla. Now you get to ask the questions and I answer them. A ver. Okay. Okay, we will start with holiday. Yes. What's your favorite holiday? I would say New Year's Day. Oh, cool. Why do you like it? Because it, everybody is throwing a party and it feels like everywhere you go, there's a party going on. And I really like that. Oh. And what do you eat and drink on this day? Oh my goodness. Uh, panes con chompipollo, right? The, <laughs> the, the bread with the, with the chicken. Um, we also make sometimes, well, sometimes we make turkey, sometimes we try to make both, panes con pollo and y el pavo, and mm. we drink, oh my goodness, we drink, we drink a lot, we drink a lot of, um, 
Chaparro. We drink a lot of soda. Do and, you like hard drinks? You know, I yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you, yeah. Como es y, no. y, la, la pachita, y la pachita pues, por aquí va. <laughs> normal. No, normal drink. Um, so, yeah, so there's a lot of drinking going around. So, uh, drink the liquor, drink uh, water and soda. Oh, cool. And where did you spend it? Well, you know, back in the days, I used to live in San Salvador. So I used to travel from San Salvador to my grandma's house. But now that I live next to my grandma, I don't have to travel. Uh, so I spend it uh, at my grandma's. Oh, that is so sweet. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, now we will talk about music. Okay, okay. What is your favorite music? Um, just like you, I, I really like every single type of music. And, and when I say every music, I like every music. Uh, reggaeton, <laughs> perreo, eh, la, como, la, la, como se llama? la de banda. I, I really, I absolutely like every single type of music. And uh, what about age? I mean, from 50s or You know, 80s? I, I even, I, I think I would, I like, every, you know, I could listen to something from really, really, you know, from like the 1950s, from the 60s, from the 70s, because I really, really like everything. Um, but now, like right now, I think I've really gotten into, I think it's called the hip hop. I don't know. Uh, have you guys ever heard of? Well, no. Well, no. I let's say let's say I'm going to tell you that out of everything that I like, something that I'm listening to a little bit more often now is hip hop. Hip oh. hip hop. And what do you like? You know, they have made it. Well, it's coming out now, like a little bit more dancing, more rhythm. Um, so I I really like that part of this new music that's coming out. Yeah, I truly move it and you can yeah. stand the wake up. Yeah, yeah. And, and wait, wait till you get to the, when you ask me the next questions, I'm going to explain to you why, right? <laughs> yeah, and when do you listen? Oh, all the time. You know, like, just like you, I try to listen to it as much as possible. And so um, I, I try to listen to it like maybe at least four hours a day. Uh, every day, every day. Who is your favorite singer? Um, well, what, I, I, what I've been listening to it, um, in general is hip hop, but there is a group that's been coming out with some really good songs. The group is called Black Eyed Peas. Have you, have you heard of the Black Eyed Peas? Yeah. <laughs> tienen, una nueva que se, que tienen una nueva que se llama, que andan buscando una chica como Shakira. Have you, have you guys heard of that? <laughs> well, <laughs> it, it's really, it's really cool. And then there's another one that's called Mamacita. I think it's Mamacita. And well. then they, they have another one that's called Mi Vida Loca. You guys, oh, you, yeah. se la recomiendo, Gretel. Le va a gustar. <laughs> okay. They're, they're really okay, cool. I they're really cool. Right. All right. All right. And that, that's it, Gretel. Thank you very much. ¿Qué tal, sure. Gretel? A ver. Los holidays, eh, el suyo, el 24, el mío, el 31. Sí. Pero yo creo que en general nos gustan los, el 24, el 31, solo que el, el 24 es un poquito más familiar, right? You try mm -hmm. to spend it more with your family. The, the, el, 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 el 31 is a little bit more about friends and parties and stuff like that. So I think that's why it kind of goes that way. With the music, right? The Black Eyed Peas. So it's a little bit, it's a little bit different, but you can see how we have the contrast and sometimes there's similarities, right? So Gretel, if we were talking about animals and birthday, I mean, would you mind helping me with this one with animals and birthday? Yeah, it's, it's okay. All right. Okay. Okay. Let me, let me ask the team. Si alguien más quiere ayudarme y hacer la conversación con Gretel. Is there anybody who would like to volunteer and do animals and birthday with Gretel? Hasta el puro show, el puro show de la mañana. Animales y cumpleaños con Gretel. Any volunteers, volunteers? 
King, is that is that Felipe? Is that, is that Felipe? Angel. Angel. Yo creo que yo creo que Angel Martinez quiere, pero no le escuchamos, Angel. No le escuchamos, Angel. Oh man. Oh, man. Oh, went wrong. Went wrong. Yeah. yeah. Angel, le voy a poner Angel, mute porque no le escuchamos. Porque no le escuchamos. Okay. Anybody else would like to try animals and birthdays con Gretel? Oh. Bueno, Alex, Alex creo que hizo seasons. No, no hizo seasons, va. Alex, would you would you like to help me out? And right. you can practice with Gretel for seasons in school? Seasons. Oh, all right. All right. Gretel, are you ready? Yeah. All right, all right. Let's go, Alex. Okay. Which season do you like the most? Oh, I really love spring. Why do you like spring it? Spring season. Right. Why? Uh, because I really love flowers and it's a kind of sweet atmosphere. I like it. All right. What do you What do you do in this season? I like go out and go out by nature places. All right, where do you spend it? Um, I don't have a exactly answer to this question, but if I play, ah, I know, I know. And the beach, I really love go to the beach. Maybe it doesn't have the much uh, mother with the spring, but it's a really different vibe. Well, but yeah, I need that. All right. Um, now with the school, what, what is your sure. favorite subject? I think math and science. Math and science. Okay, what do you like it? Why do you like it? Um, I like it because I think I have an analytic mind and I like to follow patterns. All right. How often do you study? Mm, r really often because my major degree have a, a math part to so maybe one time a month or less. Okay. All okay, right. Now, yeah, now we, we're going to switch it over, Gretel. <laughs> e, you ask the questions and Alex gets to answer. Sure. Okay, we will start with, with the first part of season. Right. Which season do you like the most? I like the uh, winter season. Oh, and why do you like it? Uh, because it's uh, sometimes it's, it's cooler than than the summer. It's, oh, I think it's better. I like the rain. <laughs> okay, what do you do in this season? Uh, what do I do? Uh, you know, I I do. How, how do you say plantar when when you like like if you if you cuando tú siembras? Yeah, you can say mm -hmm. así como he says plant. You can plant a tree or you can plant yeah. flowers. Yeah, planting. You can you can yeah, say plant. like that. Okay, you know. I like to plant in flowers and, and, and fruit trees. And, oh. and, and, the sea, and this season is, is good for them, for the, for the trees and, and, plant, and plants. Okay, and where do you spend it? I spend it in, in the farmer. In my farmer, sure. yeah. Oh, that it's so nice. 
Um, next part, high school. What are your favorite subject? Uh, one of my favorite is uh, English subject and science. Okay. And what do you like it? Uh, science, because I like the, the nature and also I like the universe and and English, I like to, to learn another language, you know. Okay, and how often do you study? It? I study almost every day. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> you will be a pro soon. <laughs> right, uh, right, if you do it every day. All right, thank you very much. Gretel, muchísimas gracias. Alex, muchas gracias. All right, well, now, these, once again, remember, chit chat, small talk, report, very important for a conversation to start. Conversation starters, right? When you stay quiet, you don't want that silence. Try to ask one of these questions. What's your favorite music? You know, and then go from there. So you have the startup question. What is your favorite holiday? And somebody will say Thanksgiving, uh, el Dia del Pavo. Why do you like it? What do you eat and drink on this day? Or where do you spend it? You know, these are follow-up questions. You can ask follow-up questions as many as you can. The idea is to try to get as much information because what you're trying to do is build that relationship, right? Building rapport. So in order for you guys to start that conversation, how do you start it? Really small talk, you know, small things. Do you have a dog? Do you have a cat? Do you like animals in general, right? And then somebody will tell you, yeah, I, I like animals. Now, something that has always worked is food. You know, what's your favorite food? Oh, and somebody will tell you, oh, it's hamburgers. Oh, nice. And when you buy a hamburger, uh, you know, where do you get it from? What's your favorite place to get a hamburger from? And then they will tell you McDonald's or Wendy's or Burger King or, you know, Mike's Burgers, you know, or whatever it is that they tell you. But that is a great conversation starter. So you guys, you guys can think of it that way. And these are some things. Usually, when you start off with what is your favorite dish, somebody will tell you either one or two answers, right? At the most, there's not too many people that, that will say, oh, well, I like this, 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 and this, and this, and this, right? They won't ask you that many, but they usually will tell you that they have one or two that are just the favorites. And then why, when, and how often will get you more answers. So these are what we call open-ended questions. And these are used as follow-up in a conversation to get more information right? Get the other person to talk and then you just stick to your questions, right? Short, sweet, to the point. All right. So I wanted to go back a little bit and I had for you guys, let me see, where is it? Where is it? Where is it? I think I have it right here. No, not here. Let me see here. Here it is. I had this one for you and i don't remember us doing this one i think if we did these we might have done maybe like the first couple of them and then we kind of left them at that we're going back to the gerunds because this is the last item that we saw from the platform so i want to kind of just go back to it and uh, if you guys can help me out look at the question and I'm sorry, uh, the sentence, and then all you have to do is choose which gerund or an infinitive, which is very similar to what we did yesterday, mm -hmm. right? And then so it starts off like this. My friend really enjoys books and magazines. So there's a blank space. And so we could say my friend really enjoys to read books and magazines my friend really enjoys reading books and magazines, and my friend really enjoys to reads 
books and magazines. All right, so we know that reads probably won't fit in. I have the option of to read books and magazines or reading books and magazines. And what do you guys think here? I think it's letter, letter A, to read. To read? All right, let's put that one. All right, have, and then so that's... I have a question for you. Yes, 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 yes. For you, teacher. Because yeah. after we see or we saw yesterday the, the question or the answer that we gave, they gave, we, we gave, you know, how we can identify, you have any, any clue to, to identify when we use to read or, or reading or an infinity or, okay. or, or zero? All right. How so, identify in this, in this, in this sentence, for example? Like, so let's say that if you guys are reading this sentence, how can you tell whether we need to use to read or let's say, for example, to use reading? Mm -hmm. Now, what I recommend is for you to kind of go over the sentence itself. And so the first thing is, how does it sound? How does the structure, how does the rhythm, how does how can you go through it, right? So that's why I tell you guys to sound it out. My friend really enjoys to read books and magazines. You can go back and say, my friend really enjoys reading books and magazine. So the first thing is, how does it sound? Okay, the second one is when you say to read, do you guys remember what tense this is? Do you yeah, guys it, there is the infinitive. Uh, right, so what, what am I implying when I say to read versus reading? So it goes back to the tenses, right? If you read the sentence, Y ese tense, esa sentence te está diciendo, él está haciendo algo en este momento, then we can use one of these, which is the, you know, the ING, the ones that end in ING, porque este es el, ¿cómo se llamaba? El, el tense for present continuous. Progressive. Progressive. Present, present, present continuous or present progressive? According to, it's, it's the same one. It's the same one. Yeah, right? So what is he doing? Is he reading right this moment? And so my friend really enjoys reading books and magazines. So in this particular case, no está hablando de algo que él está haciendo en este momento. So here, it would be to read because what you're talking about is something that he likes to do at another time. So you can look at it that way, Alex. Yeah, ¿Qué yeah. es lo que está haciendo en esa sentence? Si lo está haciendo en este momento, more than likely we're going to use a verb ending with ing. But if it's not talking about something right now, then we could use to read. Ahora, este C, to reads is completely off because yeah. remember that reads, you're talking about a, let me see, what would, where can we fit that one? He loves to, no, I can't even say it past 10. He used to, no, he used to read, he likes to read, he reads very often. So you could say, pero no pudiera ocupar to reads. Yeah, no. He likes, yeah, no, you wouldn't be able to say it. So this one's completely off because it doesn't make sense. The infinitive doesn't fit with the sentence that we're using, all right? He loves to, you okay. know. All right, so so just think of the tense, Alex. All right. Are we I doing guess. it right now or are we doing it at another time? 
All right, so let's try it out. Let's try it in number two. Let's see, we start off with blanks. Enough sleep is very important for good health. Getting enough sleep is very important for good health. Get enough sleep is very important for good health. Is getting enough sleep is very important for good health? Uh, I think it will be. Get? Get enough. Get, get enough. Get enough sleep is very important for good health. I, I think it's getting. I think so. It just doesn't, if you leave get, it feels like it's missing something. Yeah. Get enough sleep is very important. I think you would need, you would need to add something like, yeah, whoa, yeah, you would have to completely change the sentence to be able to use it. If you get, tendrías que decirlo así, if you get enough sleep, is very important for good health, but esta de aquí no, no caería bien. All right, let's try, let's try getting. Getting enough sleep is very important for good health. Getting enough sleep, that one sounds pretty good. Getting enough sleep is very important for good health. All right, let's try number three. Blank is not allowed inside the building. You should go outside. Smoking. Smoking? Yes. Yeah, smoking. Okay smoking all right so the examples too when when we're talking about gerunds remember getting is the subject smoking is the subject as well so in here getting enough sleep getting becomes a subject and here smoking is the subject smoking is not allowed inside the building you should go outside smoking all right i love blank a cup of tea in the early afternoon to drink i love to, to drink, drink to a drink cup of tea in the early afternoon i love drink a cup of tea in the early afternoon uh, i love to drinking oh uh, no that one doesn't fit all right i love to drink a cup of tea in the early afternoon all right Thomas usually blank TV after he gets home from school. Teacher. Yes, ma'am. I have a question. Yes. Podemos mezclar tú con ING en este caso. No, eh, no. Aquí donde dice to drinking. No sería Where? correcto. Fíjate que, o sea, you could use it, but you wouldn't be able to use it with this sentence. Oh, okay. Tendrías que darle vuelta a varias, a, a varias, a varias palabras to make it fit. Let's see, for, for example, let me see for this one. Let's see what we could use. Um, we could say, the thing is that with drinking, it is, I like drinking chaparro early in the morning. You know, you mm -hmm. could say it like that. I like drinking. I like, I like, I like drinking champagne for lunch. You could say like that. I like drinking champagne for lunch. Um, you could say, I am used to drinking water six times a day. You can use it like that. I am used to drinking water six times a day. But you see how you would have to change the whole sentence to make it fit? Okay. All right. But you can. You can use it like that. You can use the infinitive with the gerund, and it will it, it will work. It's just that you have to move that sentence around to make it sound good. Okay. 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 All right. Number five. Thomas usually blank TV after he gets home from school. Letter B. Watch. Watch TV. Thomas usually to watch TV? Yeah. After he gets home from school? Mm, it so doesn't could be watching. I, yeah. 
watching. Let's see. Let's see how that sounds. Thomas, usually watching TV. Oh, no. Mm -hmm. It doesn't. Thomas, usually. So this is one of those examples where this is something that he does every time he gets home from school. Yeah. He does it very often. Thomas usually what? watches TV after he gets home from school. Yeah. You know, that one sounds that one sounds pretty good. All right, let's try it out, guys. Let's try it out. I wanna I wanna give you guys let's see. Tan 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 Oh the first one <laughs> Oh my god we missed the first one So it was reading My friend really enjoys reading a book Yeah because it wasn't to read Let's see let's try it out A ver solo voy a poner una Reading my friend really enjoys reading books and magazines Oh, oh man <laughs> Jesus, that's the one that we took the longest. All right. All right, guys. Remember, this live worksheet, you guys can also practice it yourself. The website se llama Live Work. Well, yeah. Sí, así sale. Live Work Sheets .com. We need a lot of practice. And you guys can just you guys can just go ahead and then do it and then reset the page, right? And then do it again and reset the page and then practice. All right, everybody, I want to give you guys back your seven minutes, two minutes now. Two minutes, I'm sorry about that. <laughs> Have a good night. Thank you for coming in. See Thank you guys you. tomorrow. Good night. Good night. Right. Take care, guys. Tomorrow. Tomorrow. Vengan, se, se visten yeah. bien. All right. Graduation <laughs> picture, Alex, graduation picture. Take care. <laughs> good night. Good night.